Hey guys, what is up? It is Michaela back again from Invisible Reads, and today I am here to bring you my Booktubeathon TBR. I'm so excited for another year of Booktube Booktubeathon. Such a mouthful. I think I've been participating for like three or four years now, even though I haven't had a channel, but like it's just, it's so fun. For those of you that don't know what Booktubeathon is, you've obviously been living under a rock or something, but um, I will link the official channel and the announcement and everything down below. Basically, it's kind of what it sounds like. It's a readathon that all of BookTube participates in, or most of BookTube participates in, and it's so much fun. Um, there are reading challenges, there are video challenges, there are Instagram challenges, there's gonna be giveaways this year. It's a whole big thing. So I will be trying to participate in the video challenges this year. I don't know if I'll be able to get them filmed and uploaded all in time, but I will try to participate as much as I can. If anything, I'll probably just do the three videos that I usually do a week, but I'm going to try, try, try to do all seven because why not? It sounds fun. And then I don't know if I'll be participating on Instagram. There's literally no pictures up on my Instagram, so maybe I'll do that to get it started. Um, and then there are, will be Twitter sprints, and I also have nothing up on my Twitter, so might as well participate in those two. So yeah, without further ado, let's get into the books because that's what I'm here for and that's what I'm excited about. Um, this year, I decided to give myself an own, my own little added challenge and that is to finish a series. I don't know if I've talked about this on this channel, but I suck at reading series. I'm really bad at it. I don't like reading books in order most of the time, like the series one after another, because I don't know, I get bored. I read to get like away from this world, so when I'm forced to stay in another world for a long time, I just kind of get bored. This year I decided, you know what, I have way too many open series, I need to try to finish one of them. So my TBR is going to kind of reflect that, and also I'm going to try to be less strict about my TBR this year because I know that I have a bunch of books that I could also use for these challenges, so I'm not going to be too strict if I don't feel like reading something that's fine. I don't have to read it. I'm just gonna say that for myself because I know how I am about TBRs and I don't wanna do that to myself again. So here is like my probably booktube TBR but also I might not want to so why not? So the first challenge is to read a book with a person on the cover. Now I usually hate this in books but it doesn't have to be like a whole person. It could be part of a person. It could be like their hand or something which I am going to be using. And the series that I chose to read for this Booktubeathon is the Cinder series, I or the Lunar Chronicles series. I read the first two. I read Cinder and Scarlet, but I haven't continued on. So I'm hoping to be able to reread Cinder and Scarlet before the Booktubeathon starts so that I have them fresh in my mind and I can go right into the series knowing what's happening and remembering all the details. So. For read a book with a person on the cover, I chose Cress because look at that. Her hand and her hair and everything's on there. It counts. Um, so obviously this is the third book in the Lunar Chronicles series. So she's she's thick. I'm so scared. Um, but I have a week. So I think, if anything, I can spread this out over like two days. But I also have three other books in the series. So I kind of need to read it semi-quickly. But... I, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. I'll be fine. Challenge number two is to read a hyped book. Now, all of the Cinder series is pretty hyped, obviously, but I'm just gonna go with this one because it it works, and that is Winter from the Lunar Chronicles by Marissa Meyer. Uh, this one is obviously very hyped. A lot of people like say this is their favorite one, and... Yeah, I'm excited to finally know why everybody loved this so much, and I'm way late on the bandwagon, but that's okay. This one is also very, very hefty. So the next challenge, challenge number three, is to read a book in one day. Um, hopefully I'll be able to do that for most of the books I've chosen, but we never know. So I have chosen one of, or if not the shortest book I have, and that is Fairest by Marissa Meyer, which is like 3.5, I'm told, in the series. Uh, this is Lavana's story, so this is going to be the one I'm reading in one day because it's 
really short and I'm hoping that I'll be okay. So challenge number four is to read a book about a character that is very different from you. So I chose My Sister Rosa. Um, I think I've talked about this a couple times before, but for those of you that don't know, this is about a 17 year old Australian boy, which I am neither Australian nor a boy nor 17 anymore. So, mm. And his younger sister is a psychopath, which is also not the case with me, thank God. The next challenge is to read a book completely outdoors. Um, and for that one, I'm going to go with Stars Above. Spoiler alert, I already told you that I was going to read this. Love that. I think this is the one that's a series of novellas. Yes? No? Yes. Yes. This is the one that's a series of novellas. So maybe I'll read, like one every day. Oh my gosh, I didn't even think of that until just now. I love being a genius. There are nine uh, short stories in here, so maybe I'll read like one or two a day and just have it be like my chill book. Oh, that's brilliant. And challenge number six is to read a book you bought because of the cover. Now, I didn't necessarily buy this one because of the cover, but it was a big selling factor, and that is The Accidental Highwayman by Ben Tripp. This cover is so pretty. The friggin' gold foiling and there's a little bee right here and a noose, which I'm excited to see how that plays into it. And just like the whole cover design is ridiculous. And the friggin' book itself is like this mustard yellow that I'm obsessed with. And it's got a little bee embossed right here. Amazing. And there's a letter on the back, which I'm so, so interested in. I just, I want to know what this book is about because it looks so cool. And also, you can't have a title like The Accidental Highwayman being the tale of Kit Bristol, His Horse Midnight, A Mysterious Princess, and Sundry Magical Persons Besides and not be like really cool. So it's supposed to be like a fantasy-esque type book from what Goodreads tells me. And then the last challenge is to read seven books in the seven days. I have completed this a couple times. I know there was one time I didn't because I was on vacation, but I hope this year will be another time that I get to complete it. And my choice for this is Everything Leads to You by Nina LaCour. I have not read her other book. I don't remember what it's called. We Are Okay? Yeah. And didn't she have a book before this? She might have had a book before this, or I'm hallucinating and this is her first book. She had Hold Still and The Disenchantment. The Disenchantments. I'm not hallucinating. I know very little about it other than the typography on it is beautiful and it's about a girl who is a set designer in LA and she's a lesbian and I'm excited for all of it. I think I can do it. This will probably be like a little pick-me-up in between all the heavy fantasy that I've chosen. Why am I doing this to myself? Oh god, I'm gonna die. Let me know what you're reading for Booktubeathon down below or if you're participating or what you're gonna be doing and participating in. Um, I would love to see your video challenges and your um, Instagram challenges, so if you want to leave me your links down below, that'd be amazing. I would love to get to know some of you guys and interact during the whole, you know, craziness that is Booktubeathon. Let me know what your TBR is and if any of the books on my TBR are on yours or if you're using them for different challenges. I think that is all I have for you guys and I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.